This is Will down at Van Tile Music Academy. Today, very important lesson, how to hold the guitar and what to do with your thumb. Oh wait, what? Okay, uh, apparently not this thumb, this thumb. Okay, so here's something we definitely run into in guitar lessons. How do you hold this thing? Well, two different ways. We could be seated or standing, and I'll go over both. First of all, you want to have the guitar right up against, uh, right up against your body here. Um, for electric guitar, this part, and acoustic as well, this part is, a, is cut out, and that's for your, uh, your leg. You can rest on your leg. There's also another option where you can rest it on this leg. More on that in just a second. Um, you want to keep the guitar straight up and down. You want to sit basically straight up and down. Um, avoid tilting the guitar forward like this. Um, in order to see the frets, if you need to see the frets, you can lean forward just a little bit and uh, look over the top of the guitar. That definitely helps. If you want to like check out where your fingers are at, that's not a bad idea. Um, you've seen it done, many guitar players. You want to tilt the neck up. Um, looking at straight up and down, um, the great John Stoll plays the guitar basically straight up and down. We've seen Van Halen do it. Um, you know, you don't have to get that extreme, but it does make it a lot more easy to play if we've got the neck tilted up a little bit. When standing, I've got the guitar neck tilted up, same thing. The guitar is against my body here, and uh, that's going to make it a little bit easier to play. I'm going to use the strap, in this case, to help hold the guitar um, without my hands on it. And whether or not I'm sitting or standing, the guitar wants to, you want to be able to hold, uh, hold the guitar without your hands. So I'm not using my hands to, to keep the guitar in place. I'm also using maybe the, the edge of my arm here over the top of the guitar. This is great for acoustic players, too. Um, so, uh, so the guitar... Uh, stays in the same place without my hands. I'm not using my hands to hold it in place. Okay, that being said, well, what's our left hand going to do now? Well, uh, playing the guitar, it's a very natural motion for our hands. So, very simply, if I were just to hold my hand out, it would look something like that. Well, that's where the neck of the guitar goes. If I were to hold my hand out, a natural way to do that might just be holding my hand out. I wouldn't necessarily do anything, you know, strange with my hand or my wrist or my thumb or anything like that. We're just holding our hand out. The guitar will naturally fit into your hand. Any varieties of, of people doing things with the thumb over here. Um, some people will use the tip of the thumb. Some people will grab it like it's a baseball bat. Um, some people are using the side, side of the thumb here, perhaps the other side of the thumb back here while they're playing. But keep in mind that we just want to have our hand be in a very natural position and the guitar just fits right in there. So what that's going to look like is I'm just holding my hand out and the guitar is just going to fit right in there. And that lines my thumb up somewhere along the back of the neck. Be pressing with the fat part of our thumb as if we're leaving a thumbprint on the back of the neck, right? Um, to check to see which is the, the most advantageous way to do this, um, Push with your thumb into your other palm here using the tip, just using the thumb, or the side of your thumb, or that thumbprint of the thumb. The strength is coming from here, inside the, uh, it's almost like where the thumb connects with the rest of your hand. You're pushing with the fat part of your thumb, the thumbprint, at the tip or the side, you'll see that these other ways of doing it you just don't have as much strength there. There's not as much strength going if I'm using the tip as if I get the fat thumbprint on there and I use my whole thumb all the way down in order to push. So I'm not pushing from the, the knuckle here. I'm pushing all the way from, uh, from almost to where the thumb connects with the wrist. Wait, what about don't blues players wrap the thumb over the top of the neck? That's another technique that helps us with bending the strings. In other words, stretching the strings and all that kind of stuff. Um, that way, your thumb and your fingers are still working together rather than creating a grip like this. It's more like this. Even though my thumb is over the top of the neck, I still have some space where my palm is and I'm not gripping it like a, like a baseball bat. Use thumb over the top of the neck to make bending easy or thumb behind the neck so I can play chords and scales. Uh, basically, there's no one thing for music that's going to carry you through for every situation. So I've seen many players use both and combine both, and ultimately it probably depends on the style of music that you're playing. But hey, it's all good. The more we learn, the better we can play. Thanks a lot for hanging out. I'm Will Tone at the Van Tile Music Academy.